green with a big white stripe <laughs> down the side. Yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, outside right now, the maps are orange. It's still kind of mellow out there temperature-wise. We did get into the 80s today rather than the 70s like the last two. We're still at 77 in Troy, 74 in Lansing, 73 in Holland, 73 in Detroit right now. But significantly cooler, as you can see, in Ann Arbor at 60. Four degrees, fairly clear skies and light winds that drops faster than everybody else kind of tries to catch up as the night goes along. Certainly warmer again out here to the west and to the northwest. Uh, we talk about this a lot. Minneapolis today was almost 10 degrees warmer than we were there in the upper 80s. We were in the lower 80s. We're at 73 and it's 80 in Minneapolis. This heat is still out ahead of the cold front. The cold front kind of sort of slides east and drops south a little bit. Well, what that does is it shoves everything that's out ahead of it today in these two batches here a little closer to us. So as we get later in the day, later in the afternoon and into the evening hours, through the evening hours, we'll have a little bit better chance for a shower and a thunderstorm, especially north of the metro area. So here's uh, the area of concern. It's a marginal or severe risk. Uh, Port Huron over to Lapeer northward. So it's I-69, it's the thumb. This is about the wind potential and hail potential. It's the very, very small risk. It is a category one on a scale from one to five. So maybe something isolated is an issue. I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem, but we'll keep track of it for you. As we showed you a little bit ago, here is the storm energy building up in the afternoon, the evening. See how it's all north? This is about eight o'clock or so. And then it fades away overnight and watch as it develops on Friday. It's down here to the south. So for us, the cold front's coming through at a time where not very likely to get big storms out of it in the overnight. So the action would be north of us in the evening, then we'll probably dry out on Friday as the action concentrates more to the south. So here is midnight. We're going into tomorrow morning. Not, notice there's not much going on here. As we roll through Thursday, it starts to build a little bit in the north, starts to slide a little farther south. Uh, the best action will be north of Detroit, but really the possibilities are around Detroit and to the north as we go throughout the evening hours. Here's 10 o'clock or so, and then again it goes away and by Friday, we're in pretty darn good shape around here. So overnight tonight, 65 for a low. Lots more 60s than 50s out there for low temperatures. Partly cloudy skies, not much going on. It's a little stickier tonight and tomorrow. Gets us to 87 in Detroit in a lot of spots. Mid to upper 80s is warmer than we have been for a while now. Storm chances are out there again, more north than south as I showed you on the radar. Friday's dry, Saturday's dry, Sunday in the morning. Might squeak out some hours, but the later we get in the day, the higher the chances for rain go.